we looked at a couple of special cases in the last video and in this video we're looking at another one sometimes called the difference of two squares which is important it's important that we can work both ways uh, with this this result uh, in the coming weeks months and years right so we've we've looked at we know how to multiply our brackets so imagine you were faced with this and we wanted to prove this somehow so we could just pretty easily prove that using the distributive law that i mentioned in the first video we could write i'm not suggesting that this is something you're ever likely to do but we can show it using so it's a times a minus b plus b times a minus b so then we have a times a which is a squared plus minus a b plus a b or plus b a which is the same minus b squared and we can see this with our grid again we have a plus b on one and a minus b on the other so it's a squared a b minus a b and b squared and of course these two here cancel out to give a squared minus b squared you'll probably never have to do that it's important what is important is that you look at this result and if you see it you just use it either way so imagine we had to do we had 2x minus 5 times 2x plus 5 notice the plus and minus the other way around doesn't matter we don't have a middle term now because of the change in sign they're going to cancel we don't bother with any of this or foil or smiley faces whatever square these two that's 4x squared uh, take away 25 okay uh, let's do another one suppose we have uh, 2y minus 5 plus 5 and 2y minus 5 so that's 4y squared minus 25 but well, mark could be similar just a different letter and change to the other way around nothing amazing there let's do another one uh, let's suppose we had 3z plus 4 and 3z minus 4 well that's going to be 9z squared minus 16 no middle term so because it's because of the arrangement so you need to know this and be able to do it quickly and spot it in the other direction as well and we're going to see it a lot with surge too so let's suppose we have a third so suppose we had something like square root of two plus one and square root of two minus one so it's of this arrangement we don't have to mess around with it too much that's going to be the square root of two squared take away one squared so that equals to two take away one which is equal to one okay so there, there's let's make a few more examples with surge suppose we had two square root of three take away the square root of five say and two the square root of three plus the square root of five Okay, got to be a little bit careful with this, squaring it out, because that will be, let's write it out, let's not rest it too much, 2 square root of 3 squared, take away square root of 5 squared, being careful, that's 4 times 3, so that's 12, take away 5, that's equal to 7, and we're going to see this a lot when we're rationalising the denominator of a third. And I suppose before I go, we also need to look at quite often when we're factorising, spotting this special case working backwards. So suppose we had, for example, something which we look at here. Suppose we had something like 25x squared minus 9. And we want to factorise. We see that it's of this case. That's basically 5x squared all squared and this is 3 squared so that's 5x plus 3 and 5x minus 3 so we need to be able to recognize it that way around when we're factorizing 2 
So you're going to hopefully, if you, you're going to be using this a lot, and let's say the third example very soon, uh, but you're going to, it's something you need to look at, out for. Okay, hope you find it useful. Bye.